people are going to do with this. But yeah, stupid awesome. How's it going? Basically, guys, I've got something to show you. Um, this right here, I've got Calman with me. Hello, Calman. Uh, General is lurking, I think, but huh? I'm not sure. Hello, mate. And, um, and basically, um, this is just my first experiment with the rails. I can't believe how amazing it is. So, right, if I've got an activation block with a rail pointing down, touching it, then this signal, if I hit C, you can see that it's attached to the vertical part of this rail loop that I've put up here. So on both ends, so in other words, if there's something docked to these blocks, like the one that uh, Kalman is currently modeling, if I hit the down button, it's going to go down. Now, obviously, I'm at the bottom right now. So I'm going to press the up one. Up is also linked to the same blocks. OK, because I, can, I can't travel up on these ones, so there's no point. So if I hit uh, that there now, you can see he's moving up. OK, so if I want him to go back down, I just activate the down. And down he goes. So now if I hit up, and then when he gets to the top, hit the uh, left, I've put them backwards. I've just realized that. Oh, you can make a game. And look, so now he's moving. He's moving along to the other end. Now when he gets to the end, I'll activate the down. Oh, whoops. I'll activate the down. And he'll start going down, and then I can activate left. And he's going to start going left. How's it going, buddy? Whee! How's it going? It's going good. It's awesome, right? Oh, it's so awesome. And like, we're just going to experiment with an area trigger, see if we can just get it to go around and around. I mean, I know you can just make a loop that will just go around and around and around, but I want to see if we can get a trigger going, because that adds a layer of uh, automation in, which is quite interesting to play with. Okay, so just testing to see if this area trigger will be triggered by the docked rail core. If it does, it should go up. Ah, nothing happened. It would have been interesting if they did, because you could use them as sensors. But you can't do that. No. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Okay, so here we go with another test. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to send our imaginary core. It's been docked up in a cubby hole up here. It's going to come into the main rail and then go down the main rail, which I imagine to be my hanger or whatever. And then it gets to this corner. When it gets to the corner got no power on it so it's not actually sending up the corner does oh, I'm not I'm not using the corner right basically okay so what I found out was I tried using the corner and I'm not using it right so I'll do a bit more research on that but until then if I had this system in my ship it's very simple to have a turret or selection of turrets all hidden away in the center of my ship and then when I want to deploy them all I have to do is press down and forwards that's going to send this turret down and forwards. Of course, you can pre-program a bunch of buttons to do all of this with the correct timing. So it's not really a big issue. But when I know that my turret is ready to be deployed, so it's come out of the loading bay and it's in position, ready to be deployed, I can just go ahead and put it up. And like I say, that's going to go up and then it's going to be above the hull and able to fire. However, if I then went to bring it back in, uh, I only need to program a logic system to do down, then delay, then back. And that's going to bring the turret all the way back into what I would call, this point would be the center of my hangar. And this would be out of the door. This would be up away from the hull. Or any other part of the ship. Once it's back here, it can either be repaired or put back into storage. And that's like a really, really simple implementation of this. I'm sure it's going to change and get a whole load of more functionality. I'm going to keep uh, banging away at this and see if what else we can turn out. Okay, guys, so continuing on from where we were a minute ago. Um, basically, what I've got here is I've got this turret, which is at the moment, I think it's a two-way gimbal. Hang on. At the moment, we've got twist there. Okay, and if I go up one, uh, no, other way, no, other way, yeah, that's right. So the top one twists, and I'm about to dock another one. 
which will basically do the same thing on a different angle. Okay, so there it is. I've docked it. Oh, it can't. It can't do the uh, the third. Can't do the third angle. <laughs> but maybe the AI can. The point is, this will rotate. It's just, I don't think it knows how to do three axes yet. So here we go. I'll give you the rundown of this thing. <laughs> this crazy thing which I've created. So it's based on a 3D stabilizer that you'd get for like an iPhone or a camcorder. Or you, they're pretty f easy to find these days. Anyway, so you've got the bottom piece, which is on the rail. Okay, that's the part that's going to move. Then you've got this section which allows for the for it to turn left to right re relative to the mothership and then you go up the chain and we've got this one that allows it to roll so we've got roll as well okay now it doesn't have full movement as you can see it does get stuck on itself there now it used to go all the way through it but now it won't let you go but I've got nearly 360 degrees mo movement on that on that axis. And then finally, if I go on to the final ship, I've got my pitch. Okay.